Now that I have the Isu device forge, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, the Castis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to others. Could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. El Peace. What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Vicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games. But Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is... Elpis and I are in love. What? Ah! Ah! What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! <laughs> you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Was this your judgment, Digastis? 
I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. And Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still, I didn't want to start my reign this way. Bring the good you've always dreamed of to your reign. I will, the Castis. Thank you for your help. El peace will make a better ruler than Atlas. She certainly can't do any worse. Peaceful from up here. It always does, but it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people Harkons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler? <clears throat> you! Bring me the biggest bed in Atlantis! You! All the pillows you can find! Tonight, we sleep. For we are very, very tired. We're almost done, Cassandra. I'm too small to carry a bed, but if I brought you a pillow, could you help me? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Dicastis' speech. Eh, it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Cassandra. <laughs> Just Cassandra is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... Parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything. You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned, and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the adamant quarry. You're very brave. Now, go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. Matters assigned to the harbor, and Pater's assigned to the adamant quarry.
the Castis. Have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. Please, do not asphyxiate me! What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you! Uh, I told you, I, I don't know anything! You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Castis very angry! Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. <sighs> the harbor master was right. They're waiting for me. I'd hate to disappoint them. So this Zarius abducted Rini. I'm going to find him. Oh, there's a lot of guards for a quarry. I wonder why. Isn't this an honor? How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Vicastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. Tell me where this experimentation chamber is, or I'll make you eat your precious adamant. Primitive. Violence is all your kind understands. Tell me! <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try. Hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. That day is today. like the sounds of this experimentation chamber. And what do the Isu need with all this adamant? Halcon's probably wondering where I am. I'll go see him. 
Digastis Cassandra, did you find matter and batter? Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an issue named Zarios. Zarios? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I could find him? The doors to the chamber are locked and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified Doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me. Zarius might be at the fortified Doma of Miniseas. But he'd never hurt my parents, I'm sure of it.
so clear to me now. Like I, I am seeing with new eyes.
Atlas gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber.